Hello again, I'm Jurgen and uh, today we're gonna add a second keyboard to our setup. Right now we got this setup, one uh, keyboard 88 keys, a uh, MIDI controller and a foot pedal and main stage. And later on this is how we're gonna end. Okay, so how are we gonna start? Um, first we're gonna start a new concert. So, so I say file new and I'm gonna choose this keyboard setup we used in the first tutorial choose and now it should work with this keyboard we got an electric piano so for this demonstration we're gonna take uh, we're gonna choose an acoustic piano so I go to the sampler Apple sampler I go to acoustic pianos and I like this Grand Stein, Steinway Grand Piano too. So now we have to add the second keyboard. This uh, Cork X80 and we're gonna use this one as a MIDI controller. So I have to use the power plug, I have to connect the USB cable and I will connect full of uh, I will connect another foot pedal, so I'm gonna do this right now. So it's connected and switched on. So now we have to tell Mainstage that there is a second keyboard we wanna use. We go to Layout. First I'm gonna erase this smart control box. We will not need it anymore for this demonstration. And I mark uh, the lower keyboard saying this one's now the key station 88. I've got 88 keys. So I have to increase the number of keys and I have to tell main stage that this keyboard starts at A, not at C. Now this modulation wheel is the key station's modulation wheel as well. And this pedal is the key station's pedal. Right. So now I'm gonna add another keyboard to this box in main stage. Down there we find all controls and we got a lot of faders and things we can add. So I'm gonna choose this 61 note keyboard. Put it up there. So that's the new keyboard and I say this is the row keyboard X50. And now we add another sustain pedal. That one we, we connected. So let's take this sustain pedal, drag and drop it, make it a little smaller, saying this is the sustain pedal of the keyboard X50. So the keys should react. Okay, now back to edit. Now we can hear the acoustic piano, but nothing on the new keyboard. For that, we add another channel strip. Saying the input is DX50, okay, a software instrument. Create this new channel strip. And we add another instrument. So let's take a press section or maybe just a trumpet section. Pass. Small drum, a small trumpet section. So the horns. Let's take the trumpet section. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Now we can play both keyboards at the same time. Okay, and it works. We still got the master volume controlled by the MIDI controller. That's what we did in the tutorial about MIDI controllers and everything works. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorials.